So how do you deal, for instance, with this emerging debate about uh, gender issues versus human rights? There have been times when an issue would come up and they're very, uh, 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 they, they think through their positions very carefully and they seek, seek to entrap you. So that's why you always have to be vigilant. For example, they may bring a resolution on human rights, very innocuous human rights thing, on Iran, right? And, and they say, okay, Iran is against A, B, C, D, and E. And, and it would slip into that, the question of gender orientation. Now, the trick in that is if we agree to that resolution, two years down the line, the same EU or Britain will come to us and tell us that you are signatory to that resolution which forbids sexual orientation, um, you know, discrimination against that. So we have to be vigilant to ensure that that is not included. And the question is, we always tell them that we are on an evolutionary path. We have our historic circumstances and our realities. And it is not for you, it isn't, we have passed the colonial era. It is for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago and indeed CARICOM right, to, to determine their future and their perspectives. And maybe in 10 years' time, we may change. At that point, it is not for you to tell us. It is for, so we look them in the eye, and we look them forthrightly, and we tell them technically where you know, the boundaries lie, and they understand. 